Hi Virgo, this is Kelly from Moon Pie Tarot. This is your general monthly love reading for January 2017. Um, I just wanted to uh, take a quick moment to send a special message of gratitude to all of you who have been subscribers to my channel. For those of you who have requested readings, um, repeat clients, those of you who have left feedback, I just wanted to say thank you. I am graciously humbled by um, all of your support. Um, I've started my channel in March 2016 and I'm very overwhelmed with the amount of um, subscribers I've received in a little bit of time. Um, and also there are so many wonderful, amazing tower card readers out there and um, I just feel very blessed that you guys are considering me as one of those uh, up there on the same line as them. Um, I have deep respect and hold them in high regard, those other readers. So for you to um, have me in that position, I'm just very, very humbled by that. Um, I fully understand that... Um, there are a lot of tarot card readers out there who just, um, you know, I don't know if they're just really not paying attention to things that they're saying. Not even that. I don't want to judge. I don't feel there's a need to be judgmental in, in regard to another person's work because it is the creative arts and it is a spiritual um, phenomenon that we're all experiencing but I, I just truly feel very grateful for the amount of support that I've received. I really love doing the tarot cards and I find great enjoyment in being able to help others and I really just wanted to express that to you. I hope that you had a very happy new year. I'm recording this before the new year so if you're listening now I hope that you um, do have a very happy new year. And um, some of this reading, it may or may not resonate for you. If it doesn't, um, I often just feel like perhaps the message wasn't for you at this time. You can always listen to your moon and your rising to get um, a bit more clarity on your reading. Okay. Um, I'm actually going to fix this a little bit, but... Um, let me just, I want to get started with your reading. I don't usually do introductions uh, just because I know that when you click, you want to listen to your reading and you don't want to have this long drawn out thing. So I just wanted to send my um, blessings to you and my gratitude for all that you have done, all that you've, uh, all your support. Okay, Virgo, so let's get started. At the bottom of the deck, you have the Ace of Pentacles. So this is your overall energy for the uh, month where I feel like a lot of you will be, how can I say this, uh, coming across some maybe new, new I don't want to say information, uh, new discoveries, the beginning of something new happening for you in the month of January. Um, this is often, to me, it's like buried treasure, but because it's a love reading, I feel this has more to do with uncovering things. Um, that could jumpstart some new beginnings in your life. Um, something I feel, as far as love goes, will become uh, be begin to become solidified for you. Something grounded, um, whatever may have been um, not so grounded or up in the air, uh, I feel like there's a new start to, could be a new start to a relationship, but something more, uh, becoming more solidified. That's really what's just coming through for me. I don't want to elaborate too much on that. Um, so you're coming out of this, perhaps the last month or uh, in the recent past, where there's been a lot of, maybe this could just be like um, a lot of, maybe you were just out a lot or a lot of gatherings, get-togethers. Uh, family, community, people around you. Um, this is kind of like the party card. And I know a lot of you feel like uh, when you when you see the Three of Cups, sometimes some of my clients or uh, uh, subscribers will say, well, doesn't that mean that there's like ch a cheating thing going on? And I want to reiterate that if it's in the reverse, it could mean that. 
but it's not. It's in the upright, and this is just really like uh, getting together with people, family, friends, people who are all on the same page. Some of you may have, may have been uh, dating a lot of different people. Well, not a lot, but you know, there could be, you know, maybe you had to make a decision. Uh, maybe, I don't want to, this is for those of you who are single, not for those of you who are involved with someone and there's a third party or, or, you know, don't listen to this and think that your partner is trying to choose between one or another. Uh, it really just depends. I don't feel like there's a infidelity or anything. Um, I feel like this is more for those of you who are single, who haven't become exclusive with anyone, and you could just be meeting people um, or had been meeting people in the past and, and dating and, you know, uh, just having a lot of fun, really. Now, in the position of the, uh, this actually fell out while I was shuffling before I started the reading. Uh, this is the present position now. So for January, you have uh, the death card. This card represents change and transformation. So something will be occurring in the month of January where um, you will be leaving a situation in the past and uh, moving on. Okay. Um, this is the Scorpio card. So this could have something to do with the Scorpio. It doesn't have to. It could just be about uh, transforming maybe a relationship or um, your love life into something a bit, um, it's kind of like going from this out having fun to perhaps maybe getting something a little more substantial, like I said, uh, solidifying, having a new beginning, okay? Um, but it's challenged by the Knight of Rods. So there is a possibility that there's a bit of fear. Well, no, I don't want to say fear. Maybe like f the challenge is to be fearless. That's, that's what's coming through in regard to this change and this transformation. Um, some of you may not want to get in into a relationship and uh, maybe there's a, um, a bit of fear about commitment or getting involved with someone. So uh, that's why the Knight of Rods is in the challenge position. Usually this card by itself is talks about having fiery, passionate energy and charging forward, not even thinking about it. Some of you may be getting involved with a fire sign. Okay, someone who's younger, like 20s or 30s, okay? But there could be a challenge to that. So there could be transforming from maybe a dating scenario to getting something more solid with someone that could be a fire sign who's younger okay well not younger but 20s or 30s um, there could be a challenge to that or it's it could be um, just in general or uh, there could be a Scorpio in your life that there's uh, an opportunity to solidify something with but the challenge is to get past a, um, a fear of that, okay? Um, the challenge is to become fearless in regard to that situation. Now, I have to reiterate that, okay, that death card, uh, when I said a Scorpio, also pulled at the root of the reading, the foundation is the King of Cups. And this is also the Scorpio card. It is also... Uh, it could be another water sign, Pisces, or um, Cancer, and it could also be Libra. Oh, and also the Knight of Wands could also be fire sign, so Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries, and this is also could be Scorpio, where it goes from Scorpio to Sagittarius. Um, would be say like the end of November into the beginning of Sagittarius month season. So I do feel like for some of you, this could have something to do with the Scorpio with the, um, because it's Scorpio card and Scorpio death. Uh, this person being at the foundation of the reading, but I also want to say that this person, uh, is older. So this is someone who is in their forties, fifties, sixties and up, uh, this is someone who is a bit reserved with their emotions. Um, 
if it were like, say, the Knight of Cups, that would be someone who is more expressive with their emotions or, or um, more sharing their feelings or the Page of Cups, but uh, or even the Queen of Cups. But the King of Cups is, a, is much more reserved, is more patient, is um, can be trusting and can be compassionate, but this person also um, can be also very wise. Uh, I do feel like they are playing some kind of a role in your life. They're significant to you in some way, okay? Um, but they may be a, a bit emotionally unavailable because the King of Cups is usually emotionally unavailable versus, say, his younger counterpart, as I said, the Knight of Cups and, and, and less, okay? Um, so you could be dealing with that kind of energy, And maybe hoping for some kind of transformation or change. This could be someone that you have recently met, okay, through a group of people also. Now, what's crowning you is the Fool card, okay? So this is you thinking that you want to take a risk in something or another person here wishing to take a risk, uh, thinking about actually taking the leap, a leap of faith. Okay, um, the fool card, he doesn't think about his next move. He just goes. Um, he's not the one that's going to be cautious. Uh, he is not the one. He's just going to pack his bag and go because that's what he wants to do. He's kind of very jolly and happy. And he basically just, uh, you know, if you look here, you can see he's about to <laughs> probably just throw, fall off of this cliff. Uh, but he just doesn't care. So I do feel like you could be thinking to yourself that that maybe that's something that you want to do in regard to a relationship. It's like you're thinking about it, but the challenge is for you to be fearless about it. Okay. Um, but for some reason, you know, uh, something's holding you back. Perhaps, like I said, the, the transformation of this you're a Virgo, so um, you're not really usually the type of person to just take risks like that. You, Your risks are a bit more calculated, so um, this may be something that's out of line for you. However, um, you may feel like you wish to be that type of person that just jumps or just goes and doesn't think about it. Uh, or just as someone who doesn't think too much. Because I feel like perhaps thinking too much about um, transforming your love life could be the reason why you are uh, you, you have this knight in the challenge position. You know, thinking about it too much could be stopping you from moving forward. Okay? Um, so the full card is showing up here for a reason. It's almost as if it's, it's telling you to take a chance, right? To take a risk, um, to not worry about uh, anything. And I feel like you know that. It's just a matter of getting that from, you know, your thought process to actually doing it. And there's a major arcana. The death card is a major arcana. So if, if, if it was just these two cards to stick out, they're really just emphasizing for you to take a risk and make change in your love life, okay, whatever that may mean for you. Maybe you were dating and, you know, maybe you did have, maybe you met a couple of people and now you need to decide, okay, maybe it's uh, a, a younger person, fire, or maybe it's this king of cups energy, okay, this, this uh, king of cups energy, I feel like perhaps has been maybe around for a little bit longer. Uh, and that this Knight of Rods energy could be someone new that has uh, appeared recently. So you may need to make a decision and just go with it, okay? Um, now, in the near future, you have the Five of Cups. So, you know, this, I know you're looking and you're thinking, well, that sucks. The Five of Cups, I, I often feel like, this card, you know, it's really all about how you choose to look at something, okay? You may need to let go of something in order to have something new in your life, okay? If you look at this card, you will see that 
this person is focused on the negative. I don't feel like this is you though, okay? I feel like you are going to make a decision to do something in January, and I do feel like someone is going to uh, feel hurt about that decision. However, at the same time, um, it's almost as if you, you're, you'll be saying to yourself, you know, I'm sorry that you, you are hurt, but I need to focus on the positive and what's going to make me happy. So you could be saying that to yourself and this could be just an energy of, um, you know, someone who just is very down and distraught. Maybe that's, you know, the person that um, you thought you wanted to be with, um, but decided maybe you chose another person, okay? Um, now, in the position of you and your advice, you have the four of pentacles so this is an energy of um, this is possessive energy okay this is you holding on to something in the advice position this is really just saying that you, whatever decision that you are going to make you are going to uh you're going to make sure that this decision you make uh whoever you choose has to have value it has to be so valuable to you that you don't want anyone else uh to take uh to get to interfere or or it's almost as if like i don't often feel like this is a good card for a relationship because i feel like there's possessive energy so um but not all possessive energy can be bad uh, too much of it can be bad so the advice is for you that if this does occur if once you choose to be with a certain person, whomever it may be, um, and that you not over be overcome with possession uh, or holding on to someone so tightly that they can't get, they can't be free. Uh, that's really crucial that each person maintain autonomy in a relationship because um, you are each your own person. So the advice is also for you to maintain your autonomy in a relationship. You could choose someone that could be very possessive. Um, but I feel like this is more about you and not another person, okay? Um, you you may decide to be with someone and not tell anyone about it, okay? Because he's kind of being sneaky. You know, maybe you don't tell your family or, you know, maybe both of you decide to keep it under wraps for a while until you have a bit more information or you feel more secure within the relationship. Now, in your environment, how others are viewing you, you have the Knight of Pentacles. So you're being someone, seen as someone who is, um, you know, very slow going. They're not rushing ahead in anything. They're taking their time. They're thinking things through. And I really feel like that's your energy for sure, how people are viewing you. Um, you're pretty reasonable. You're pretty logical. Um, I don't feel like you're overthinking things too much. I feel like you are progressive in love this month and i feel like you do have an, a pretty good idea of the direction you would like a relationship to go um but i don't see you really like charging forward like this knight of wands i see you more like kind of sitting back and maybe waiting for someone to come to you or waiting for a word you know waiting for uh someone to maybe tell you what you need to do and you know i, I don't really feel like you're the i mean you can be a bit subservient sometimes but I don't feel like all of you are like that I just feel like this is more of an energy of you sitting back and kind of like thinking about which direction you want to go or how you want to deal with something you're just kind of analyzing a situation a little bit you're not thinking too much okay because knights don't do that you're just of all the knights the one that takes their time you, you're, you're kind of like I always think of this card as like um the turtle and the hare story you know the hare jumps 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 but the turtle just he's stodgy takes a sweet time he keeps moving forward and he does get to the end and he winds up being the winner so i feel like this is your energy and how people are viewing you okay and i feel like they like that right because you're not you're not so like fanatical about any about things virgo you just kind of like huh okay yeah, this is cool. Yeah, we can do this. Just, you know, give me a minute. I got to take care of business or you do whatever. You're just, you know, you're just trotting along, taking your sweet time, pacing yourself. <laughs> now, in um, the position of your hopes and fears, you have the Page of Swords. 
I feel like this energy is really, um, you know, you, you fearing there's going to be conflict about something. Um, this is, in today's day and age, this card to me represents a lot of, uh, well, this is a communication card, but it also represents, to me, like a lot of texting back and forth with someone, a lot of emails, a lot of phone calls, um, but it's, it's kind of like peppered with conflict a little bit. There could be arguing, arguing. So, but this isn't saying this is really happening. This is just saying that um, you, f you could be fearing that there could be some kind of conflict that could happen. And I feel like it could be with the person that you um, did not choose to be with. Okay. Um, but th that you're hoping that there won't be this kind of energy. You really just, you want peace. You, you don't want chaos or drama. You don't want bad energy. Okay. But this is really just your hopes and fears. This is not indicative of something that could happen. Now your outcome position, strangely enough, you have the three of swords and then you have the five of rods to clarify. So I feel like this, uh, somebody else got this exact same outcome with these exact same cards um, and it's similar to uh, the same message I gave them the three of swords this is a card about um, disengaging our thoughts now a lot of people a lot of tarot card readers or uh, people who listen think oh no it's a breakup um, I often like to f to say that this is more like this is like a separation of of mind of thoughts maybe two people who are not on the same page and just kind of like um, maybe realizing that uh, there's a bit of maybe some kind of competition um, perhaps between two people. So this could be the person that you choose to be with. There could be toward the end of the month going into February, a little bit of um, playful back and forth, but someone might take something a bit too personally. Something could be said, okay, in a playful way, right? Because they're just kind of like arm wrestling, but everybody's really just having fun. But something could be said in a way that um, maybe you take it wrong or another person takes it wrong. And then someone just gets hypersensitive about something that was said. And then there's just like a separation. I don't feel like it's a breakup. I just feel like it's, you know, a separation in communication, like taking a little time out because maybe something was said. Maybe someone... Um, just kind of went overboard with their emotions or, or was a bit sarcastic or uh, and another person took it to heart. You know, it could go like that. Someone might be a little sens uh, hyper hypersensitive or insensitive in the relationship. Like I said, I don't feel like it's an ending or anything. I just feel like it's this... I'm almost not even going to give this too much value. I just feel like it's just maybe a silly little thing that occurs towards the end of the month that just causes... Uh, a, a, a little bit of a rift. I don't. I don't. Uh, I don't feel like it's the end. It, it. It could. It could be for like some of you, but I really don't feel like that's going to occur. Um, trying to see if there's anything else coming through here for me. Yeah. So I do feel like there's a choice that's going to be made between two people. Um, or there was a choice in the recent past that was made and whoever was chosen and I feel it's more along the lines of this water sign but it could uh, this this uh, fire fiery energy is trying to come through but there's a challenge with that maybe because you're thinking about a water sign and trying to get something off the ground with that person but it doesn't necessarily say that's the one you're going to choose um but there is a sense of someone feeling hurt uh, because of this decision. Okay. Um, nothing else is really coming through for me. So I'm just going to leave your reading as it is for now, Virgo. I hope that you have uh, a very happy new year or that you have had a very happy new year. And also throughout the rest of the year, but I'll be speaking with you in February, of course. If this resonates for you, that's great. If you need more clarity or wish for a personal reading, you can always email me at moonpietarot at gmail.com. I hope you have a wonderful rest of January, and I will talk to you soon. Okay, thanks. Bye.